In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fade. They are new every morning. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. For the writers of Scripture, the acts of reverence and devotion to God began each day with the breaking of dawn. To them, divine worship was not limited to structured gatherings or meetings. Instead, it was an ongoing celebration to be practiced anywhere at any moment of the day. And through the splendor of the world around them, they were continually inspired by vivid reminders of the Creator's power, love, and care. During the next few moments, set aside the burdens of pressure and distraction and enter into the Cathedral of the Lord's handiwork. For there, as you bow with the psalmist, prophet, and disciple of old, you will share something of the timeless joy they drew from worshiping the King of all creation. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days.
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou dost prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. God said, Let the water teem with living creatures. So God created the great creatures of the sea, and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, 
teeming with creatures beyond number. There the ships go to and fro, and the Leviathan which you formed to frolic there. These all look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you send your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Amen. 